Alright. Welcome back to Super Sentai Review Episode 200, 386. We're reviewing episodes 23 to 25. And I'm calling this arc the Tikachu arc. Because these are this is basically the episodes featured in. Yeah, he's here for like three episodes and then he's done. Well, as this character. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much in the way what he is, he's basically one of the Vice Shoguns. So, basically, Phoenix is such an interesting idea to, well, make an announcement to the world. The fact that, well, it, go, go to the to the Jark, Dark, well, their news network. So, he proceeds to kick the, the, the Jark Mother Soldier, who was the news anchor, out of the chair and say, Hi! Hi, everybody! Yeah, technically, Togori did pre a cameo last episode, but Togori basically announced, "Hey, I'm the man who killed uh, Don Amargo, Omega. Yeah, the man killed him and got the broadcast ass off." Then Vice Shogun shows up and he mentions, "Like, oh, hi, we, uh, I'm, oh, it's you again." And the Vice Shogun's like, "Who are you?" Yeah, he has no idea who he is. As a matter of fact, Takachu knows who he is. They fight him several times, of course, these episodes. But, of course, Lucky. Lucky basically is written to be a little different than he usually. Usually he's very happy. He gets angry sometimes, but not usually one of his own teammates like this. And he's constantly butting heads with Takachu. Yes, over his... Well, he's being a glory hog. And the fact that he's very arrogant. So... <clears throat> The fact he doesn't care about rescuing civilians, and the fact only about being a shield, and of course be a fighting shield per se. At one point, all the Q Rangers, well, the ones in the field, all get captured, and then of course they have to work together, and of course they form a new Megazord in episode uh, I think it was like twenty four. And they also debut the, the Cure Ranger licenses. Yep. Yeah, then we also debut the Katama Da Gata Gamaji. Basically translated as Nine Ball Great Combination Ball God. Basically all the mech. And 24 is his day appearance. This also pop up in the very next episode. It appears some of them some of the episodes. But it does not appear in, like, ever since it showed up, you think, oh, this new Megazord they have here does appear in every single episode of the series? Not really. At first, when they assembled this thing, basically all the Q-Rangers, like, little globes, all were taken from them, and they formed this thing just basically two Red Rangers piling a thing to beat the monster the episode. So, of course, also, he does question, when you, like, not, not much like, wait, didn't I kill you? And he's like, did you really? <laughs> yeah. So, Crunch comes in. Of course, he had sent Spada and Raptor to, to this planet, Talk. Which the planet, if you look on top of the planet, it's shaped like a clock. Yep. And the whole thing is turning these 12 keys to get this one globe. And, of course, we take with the Vice Shogun, and, of course, well. Then all, all 12 of them, all, all the Reservoir Rangers go, go to this planet. They leave Earth. And they go to this planet. After they leave the Monster episode. So they go there. To get this. Now basically he wants to use this thing to go back in time. And of course basically. Christ says, do you want to kill uh, the Don in the past? Like no. I want to witness what happened after I defeated him. I'm like. Well, that's not a bad idea. He's not going to alter history. Just, just going to watch it, basically. Not bad. So, they get to the planet. All 12 of them are there. So, they all split up to go all the locations. And, like, most of them except for uh, Nega, 
Balance, Kochu, and the Commander, with exception of these four, they all, and, oh yeah, also, uh, actually five of them, exception of five of them, basically about seven of them, they, they face up against, like, illusions of dead bad guys. Who, like, even the first one, like, basically people they feed over the course of the series, which is quite cool. Kotro sees, his, they mentioned basically in this episode, he mentioned about his mom, where she died after having a, her brother, uh, because she got sick. And he sees basically her mom. Now, I think it's just a ghost. I highly doubt this is basically an illusion. I think this is an actual ghost, given the fact we all see Big Bear make an appearance. And also the commander goes back to me on a regular soldier. Like, oh, you have to act like this and just basically just, oh. He does attack him also, but with spicy, the octopus lady. <laughs> Who does this weird thing where she's like in love with him and then she, then she proclaims that she's in love with Hemi? Yes, seriously, I thought this was kind of funny. And it'd be all the monsters there, and Koto's mom basically witnesses, like, she's like, oh, you grown. Now, her saying that, I mean, oh, this basically just a copy, or just whatever. Uh, it's kind of weird to explain this, where she's just here, and, well, then she sees her son basically being awesome by transforming into a cure engine, battling the Vice Shogun, and of course they have the second parents of the new mech, but this time they actually have all the globes be people in so they can pilot thing properly. And they beat the Vice Shogun, ending him after three episodes. Yep. So they get the globe and they proceed to go back in time. Meanwhile, though, we get basically the tease of the next two command next two Vice Shoguns we're gonna see in the course of the series. We also get the first full appearance of Akiyama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this basically is her first full appearance. And she's here with the other Vice Shogun, Karaguga. Yep, and does he basically take a next job of basically fighting the Q-Rangers? Uh, not immediately, no. How about Akaba? Akaba, not immediately, but basically they kind of work together. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Kurage did have a cosmic fury as this guy called Dewdrip. Yeah, where well, they get an aspect of him turning one person if they get it to somebody else. They got that from a different character. Yes, so the reason why that they decided to adapt her to Bussy. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, Wow. And I'm thinking, like, wait, there's nothing wrong with this suit. Not at all. This this costume that, that well, the person inside, it's not bussy. And somehow this outfit she's wearing is deemed inappropriate. I It's it just like, kind of baffling to me. And how is this too bussy? Explain this to me. How is this too bussy? I'm looking at this and I'm like, it's fine. And how is this inappropriate? Yeah, I would love to know the reason for this. But yeah, 
those three episodes in a nutshell. Yep, definitely enjoy them. And with 25, I have about eight more episodes of my break. Overall, I have 23 left to go for the whole series. Yep. But yeah, that's pretty much it for particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notification, do not hit the like button. Next up is going to be, well, Chain Soldier. Probably a little bit later. Okay, next video. Bye.